All right, welcome back. This is a uh, work in progress, a Nolan Ryan collection of uh, graded cards that I said I was going to start doing this year. And so what I have is a stack to go through to show you where I'm at. Starting off with this uh, 83 tops. And that's 10. 84 tops. I got two of them. I went with the uh, Tiffany version in a 9. And I went with the base version in a 10. So I'm kind of on the fence about how I want to do this because 85 and 86 tops base cards, or Tiffany for that matter, are expensive in a 10, especially the 86. Um, we're coming to that in a minute. Uh, okay, so up next is I got 84 Donruss here. 10. And I love this one just because I love 85 Donruss. Nolan Ryan. And so here is an 85 Topps Tiffany in a 9, very reasonably priced. I think it was like $30 or something like that. Um, PSA 10s and both the base and the Tiffany go for about the same. I want to say about a buck 75, buck 80. And you can see here this, this one does exhibit the usual or typical yellowing, especially with the 85 Topps. And um, So I'm on the fence. You know, I've let a couple of 85 Tops base and PSA 10 pass me by just because I wanted to use the money elsewhere. And uh, maybe the completest of me is going to have me go for that as well. Um, and the same thing for the 86. Although the 86 and a PSA 10, the base card anyway, is like a $400 card. So I don't, I just don't know if I want to spend that kind of money. Um, I guess I'm not, I don't know how hardcore I want to be about collecting Nolan Ryan cards. I mean, if I have this from 86, maybe that's good enough. This one's a Tiffany in a 9. And this one was a little more than the 85. I want to say this one ran like around $100 uh, for this, this uh, 86 Tops version. Okay, up next, um, 86 Donruss. Pretty easy to find. And as we got into these later years, you know, I didn't want to have just the regular old card. I wanted to add a little gravitas, you know, to this uh, this junk wax era. Uh, so from 87 on up, I, I definitely standardized on the Tiffany. Here's a 10 from 87 tops because regular 87 tops are just everywhere. So uh, I went with that for the tops. And then in the 87 Fleer, I went with the glossy version. PSA 10. And then the last one for this particular video is 1992 Topps Gold. And I held out for the um, the non-winner version. And I mentioned that I think in the video where I showed off a Mike Mussina gold card that the gold winner cards aren't as collectible, aren't worth as much as the, the regular Topps Gold cards. So here's 92. And that leaves the 93 and 94 Topps Gold. And also, if I missed a 93 before, 91 Topps Tiffany. 91 Topps Tiffany are, I think, the rarest Topps Tiffany cards out there. Um, the print run was never, I think, officially released, but um, I know the 85 Topps had like around a 5,000 print run, and they really ramped up the presses, I think, in 86, and 87, 88. But the 91 uh, might be 5,000 or less. So keeping an eye out for that one. Not in a 10, though. I'll, be, I'll settle for a 9. And uh, that's it. So that's where I'm at with the Ryans. Um, so more to come. I, I, I do have, uh, I would say, probably at least a dozen, dozen more cards I got to get to fill in the blanks here. So this will be a eh, somewhat of a drawn-out process. Um, and by the way, that uh, uh, video I made last week with the uh, Collectible Card Club, I couldn't believe I pulled that Griffey. Uh, somebody had commented about... Um, well, first off, I woke up Sunday morning and I had like a ton of views on that video. And I didn't know where the hell they all came from because I don't usually get that many views so quickly. It turns out um, uh, the Collectible Card Club posted the video on their Facebook page. So that explains a lot. So I had a lot more views from people that aren't subscribers to my channel, which is fine. Um, but uh, the centering on that Griffey certainly was off a little bit left to right. But I, I've seen tens with worse centering than that. In fact, I got that Corey Kluber, which I showed, I think, in the 
future Hall of Famer video or something I did like last month, and I was disappointed that that was considered a 10 because the centering was obviously was off-centered. Um, and that looks a lot worse than the Griffey that I pulled. So time will tell. I'm getting close to pulling the trigger on the... Uh, what is it, the 15 card submission is probably the best way to do it, but then after that, I don't know, because just individual cards are really expensive to grade, and um, and they take forever to grade too, I guess, as well, so people are like, you know, sending their cards out there for like months at a time before they get them back. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it for now, just an update on the Ryan Express uh, PC, and uh, one last look, thanks for watching. And I'll uh, talk to you later.